大家好，我是王维娜。Hello, everyone. My name is Sada Farahani, and today in Iran at Tehran, we are going to visit Sadabad Museum, which has、uh, lots of buildings in here, lots of museums, and we want to、uh, visit some of them. So please stay with me. The first place that we want to visit is Melad Museum Palace. Among all of the museums in Sadabad, this building is the most famous and the most important one, because the King of Iran lived here with his family, King Mohammad Reza Pahlavi. The Melad Museum Palace was built with 6,500 square meters area by the order of Reza Pahlavi in 1930. It was effectively used by Mohammad Reza Pahlavi in 1940. It is also the largest palace in Sadabad complex. The palace consists of a three floors: basements, first floor, second floor, and the attic. This museum is a great place for tourists all around the world because lots of things in this palace is special and very expensive. Some of them were made exclusively for the King of Iran. For example, chandeliers in this palace made in Germany, France, and Czechoslovakia. In the following video, I will give more details about each section. This room is the grand waiting hall. Walls are covered with cloth and windows are bulletproof. This room has also a wool and cotton antique carpet which is handmade, chandeliers and wall lights from France, piano which is made in 19th century, and also a bronze statue of King and Queen made by Iranian sculptor called Shahrukh Shahbazi. This room is also full of antiques from Europe made in 18th and 19th century. This room is the official small dining hall. Dining hall was used for formal meetings for less than 20 guests. Walls are covered with cloth and windows are bulletproof. This room also has a wall and cotton and caramel carpet from early 20th century. Chandelier is made of crystal and bronze retrieved from Versailles garden elements. Porcelain vase made in Germany and crystal vase made in Czechoslovakia. This room is King Mohammad Reza's working office. Wooden work table with bronze ornaments related to the period of Louis XV. The sculpture on the table is Mohammad Reza Pahlavi on the horseback. Mr. Dino editor made this sculpture in Italy in 1977. This room is Queen Farah Pahlavi's master bedroom. Walls are covered with cloth. Chandelier is made of porcelain and bronze from France. And carpet in this room is a handmade antique caramel carpet. The miniature painting was painted by a famous Iranian painter, Mr. Mahmoud Farshtian. This room is the grand dining hall. The left door, which is made by mirror, was just used by king and queen. This room has a handmade antique mashhad carpet, chandelier made by crystal and bronze with 108 lights. Set of wares are hand painted porcelain, bronze and gold plated by Sevres Company in France in 18th century, and also lots of other porcelains made in Japan, Germany, and Czechoslovakia. This room is the grand hall. It was used for official meetings and presentations. This room has an antique mashhad wool carpet, chandelier and wall lights made by crystal and bronze, antique chairs from France made in 19th century, and lots of other antiques. The last meeting of American President James Carter with King Mohammad Reza Pahlavi on November 13th in 1977 was held in this room. This room is the royal sitting hall. Walls are also covered with cloth. This room has an antique mashhad carpet, chandelier made by crystal and bronze, television from Germany, silk embroidered from China, and also an oriental black lacquer table from China.
And the last room that I want to introduce you is King's resting room. This room has an antique wool and cotton caramel carpet, chandelier made by crystal and bronze, a bronze statue from Germany, and tables from France. The next place is Mr. Mahmoud Farshtian's museum. Mahmoud Farshtian is a master of Persian painting miniature. He was born in the city of Isfahan on January 24th in 1930, and it was here where he learned art, painting, and sculpting. After receiving his diploma from Isfahan High School for the Fine Arts, Farshtian left for Europe where he studied the works of the great Western master of painting. Upon his return to Iran, he began to work at the National Institute of Fine Arts, which later became the Ministry of Art and Culture, and in time was appointed director of the Department of National Arts and professor at the University of Tehran's School of Fine Arts. His paintings has been hosted by several museums and exhibitions worldwide. He has more than 1,000 paintings. Now he is 93 years old and he lives in USA. In this museum, we are going to watch about 15 paintings of him. Master Farshtian's paintings are mostly about the oppressor and the oppressed. The deer is a symbol of oppressed in his paintings. The demon and the dragon are symbols of the oppressor in his paintings. I hope you enjoyed this video. Iran is a country with a civilization of several thousand years, a country full of poets, scientists, artists, athletes, and hardworking people. In our country, contrary to what is said in the news, there is no one at all, and you can visit Iran safely. Have a nice day.